Reality is not built from solid matter or empty space, but from something deeper, information structured by light. Beneath all we see, at the Planck scale, the universe is encoded in spinning quantum state vectors, or QSVs. These vectors are like tiny arrows of light rotating at specific frequencies on qubits, the most fundamental units of information. When these vectors interfere with each other across space and time, they shape all that we know, space, time, gravity, mass, and even consciousness. In quantum information holography, QIH, reality is a holographic projection of that interference. QSVs describe the angular frequencies of quantum information, and when two photons of opposite spin overlap within one Planck area, they form a perfect Venn diagram-like superposition. That overlap, the point of maximum information density, defines an angular frequency, encoding the qubits that determine the state of the next Planck moment. This superposition doesn't vanish. When the density of overlap exceeds the Bekenstein bound, a black hole forms, pure light collapsed into a singularity. These black holes evaporate as Kugelblitzes, radiant flashes of maximum information and energy. They are not destructive anomalies, they are the very mechanism of projection. The singularity encodes every possible QSV. The event horizon, composed of quark-gluon plasma, receives, reflects and integrates this encoded information into observable structure. This is where space and time arise. The singularity is a Hilbert space, a domain of pure differentiation where every possible angular frequency spins in superposition. The event horizon acts as its integral projection, summing over the histories of quantum paths and giving them form. This mirrors the fundamental theorem of calculus, where the singularity represents change, and the event horizon encodes accumulation. The observable universe is not the primary layer, it is the projection of all these summed histories onto the holographic screen of the event horizon. The visible arcs of plasma that we see, be it in stars, black holes, or even lightning, are shaped by the interference of entangled QSVs. The horizontal arc of each trace encodes the likelihood of a qubit collapsing into zero or one. The vertical arc encodes the phase of its entanglement with all other qubits in the system. These arcs are projected onto block spheres where QSVs spin at light speed, etching angular frequencies into the geometry of space and time. Our brains too are part of this field. Microtubules inside neurons resonate like biological Tesla coils. They modulate the quantum field just as stars and black holes do. Thought itself is a Fourier transformation, selecting a reality from the infinite interference of the quantum field. Consciousness, then, is light structured by information. Plasma gives information its stage. Information gives plasma its form. At the singularity, all QSVs exist together and the event horizon sums them into what we call reality. When two waves interfere constructively, we get energy, particles and form. When they cancel, we get emptiness. Einstein showed that mass curves space-time. Feynman showed that particles follow every possible path. QIA shows these ideas are one. Curvature is encoded in angular frequency. The paths are interference. Plasma and information are not separate. They are one system, one continuous process. One is the canvas, the other is the brush, and what they draw together is the universe. Reality is the sum of all light clocks ticking in quantum harmony.